keeping up with the motto of our school thakur vidya mandir high school and junior college let learning be a joy and teaching a pleasure here we are with remote teaching and learning process bridge the gap happy learning students today we'll be learning mathematics 2 standard 10th topic which we'll be learning today is similarity now you can see a triangle on the screen let us first name the triangle let us name the triangle as a b c vertex a vertex b vertex c as you know triangle has three sides so for this triangle abc the three sides are ab bc and ac for any triangle we can take any side as the base let us first take for this triangle bc as the base if bc is the base for the triangle abc then the height will be drawn from the vertex a as you know height is a perpendicular drawn from the vertex to the opposite side so now you can see in this figure ad is the height of triangle abc when bc is the base any triangle since it has three sides it has three heights also so if i take side ac as the base the height will be drawn from the vertex b so for triangle abc i can have ac as the base and bf as the height for triangle abc if i take ab as the base height will be ce so any triangle has three heights from three vertices to its three bases the previous triangle which we have seen was acute angle triangle now we have an obtuse angled triangle name of the triangle is pqr if for this triangle qr is the base then height will be drawn from its opposite vertex to help us to draw the height we have one of the celebrity from bollywood you already know him ranbir kapoor he will draw the height for this triangle from the vertex p is the height drawn from by ranbir kapoor is right no it is not the height of the triangle we have another celebrity alia bhat who will draw the height for the triangle pqr which is an obtuse angle triangle where base is qr and she is drawing for drawing the height she has drawn extended the side qr and she has drawn this as the height and this is how the height has to be drawn alia bhat is correct for obtuse angle triangle perpendicular that is height of the triangle if qr is the base will be drawn outside the triangle about triangle base and height now let us find out area of triangle you already know the formula for area of triangle area of triangle is given by the formula half into base into height there is a property which is based on the ratio of areas of two triangle which will be learning now the property is there on the your screen ratio of areas of two triangles is equals to ratio of product of 
their corresponding bases and heights. Let us prove this property which is related to ratio of areas of two triangles. Now let us prove this property. To prove this, we will first draw triangle ABC and triangle PQR. For triangle ABC, BC is the base and AD is the height. For triangle PQR, QR is the base and PS is the height. As we already learned, area of triangle is given by the formula half into base into height. So, for triangle ABC, area of triangle ABC will be half into BC into AD. And for triangle PQR, area of triangle PQR will be half into base, that is QR, and height is PS. So, it is half into QR into PS. We have substituted that values of areas of two triangle. Area of triangle ABC upon area of triangle PQR will be 1 upon 2 into BC into AD upon 1 upon 2 into QR into PS. Now as you can see in the numerator as well as denominator of right hand side there was half which will get cancelled. Now what is left is area of triangle ABC upon area of triangle PQR is equals to BC into AD upon QR into PS. Hence the ratio of areas of two triangles is equals to ratio of product of their bases and corresponding heights. Base of triangle is B1 and height is H1. A base of another triangle is B2 and height is H2. And the ratio of areas of two triangle that is A1 upon A2 is given by the formula B1 into H1 upon B2 into H2. So this gives you three properties which we have learned just now. Ratio of areas of two triangles is equals to ratio of product of their bases and corresponding heights. The second property says that areas of two triangles with equal heights, if the heights of both the triangles are equal, if you can see in the previous we have got B1 into H1 upon B2 into H2. If H1 and H2 are equal, then A1 upon A2 will be equals to B1 upon B2. Similarly, if B1 is equals to B2, then A1 upon A2 will be equals to H1 upon H2. So the three properties are right here on your screen. Areas of two triangles with equal heights are proportional to their corresponding bases. And if bases are equal, it is proportional to their corresponding heights. If both bases as well as heights are equal, A1 upon A2 will be equals to 1 is to 1 or their areas are equal. Now you can see all the four properties on the screen. A1 upon A2 is equals to B1 into H1 upon B2 into H2. A1 upon A2 is equals to B1 upon B2 if their heights are equal. A1 upon A2 is equals to H1 upon H2 if their bases are equal. And the last one, A1 upon A2 is equals to 1 is to 1 when both bases as well as heights are equal. Let us solve one of these sums and you practice at 1.1 which is based on this property which we have learned. Base of triangle is 9 and height is 5. Base of another triangle is 10 and height is 6. We need to find the ratio of areas of these two triangles.
please visit eBalbharti website for the textbook PDF. You can get all your textbook of standard 10th from this website. Thank you.